Story of Lot is an intriguing one found in the book of Genesis in the Bible. Here's a summary of the story. Lot was a nephew of a righteous man named Abraham. They lived in a city called Ur but later moved to the land of Canaan, as God had commanded Abraham. Eventually, because of a severe famine, they had to leave Canaan and travel to Egypt for a brief period before returning back to Canaan. The land where Lot settled became prosperous, but the people of the region, including the inhabitants of the cities Sodom and Gomorrah, were extremely wicked in the eyes of God, engaging in sinful behavior and refusing to follow God's commandments. One day, two angels disguised as men arrived in Sodom. Lot, recognizing them as divine messengers, welcomed them and offered them hospitality, inviting them to stay at his house for the night. As evening approached, a wicked mob of men from the city surrounded Lot's house, demanding that the angels be brought out to them, intending to harm them. Lot, Desperate to protect the angels, offered his own virgin daughters to the mob instead, which was seen as a morally questionable decision. The angels, however, struck the mob with blindness to safeguard Lot and themselves. This act demonstrated God's intention to punish the wickedness of the city. The angels then informed Lot that God was planning to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah due to the severity of their sins. They advised Lot to escape with his family and not to look back while fleeing the city. Lot hesitated initially, but the angels insisted, leading Lot, his wife, and his two daughters out of Sodom. As they fled, Lot's wife, against the angels' instructions, looked back and was turned into a pillar of salt as a consequence. Lot and his daughters continued their journey and settled in a cave in the mountains. However, Lot's daughters, concerned that they wouldn't have children, devised a plan to become pregnant by their father. They each took turns getting him intoxicated and slept with him, resulting in their pregnancies. One of the sons born from this, named Moab, eventually became the father of the Moabites, while the other son, named Ben-Ami, became the father of the Ammonites. The story of Lot portrays the consequences of living in a wicked society and the importance of obedience to God's commandments. Lot's actions, particularly offering his daughters to the mob and the events with his daughters afterward, reveal the moral downfall that occurred due to living in such an immoral environment.